Today we're going to turn a reusable shopping bag into a dog treat pouch. Let's get started. We've had our puppy, Abby, for about two months now, and we've been using this old fanny pack as a treat pouch. As you can see, it's pretty disgusting and it's falling apart. So I wanted to replace it with something that would be easier to clean, as well as easier to reach in and grab some treats. These reusable shopping bags are durable and easy to clean. So I thought that it would be perfect to upcycle one into a dog treat pouch. They also come in a huge variety of colors and patterns. So you can get creative and make some really funky pouches. This big center panel would give me all the material I would need for the pouch. So I started by cutting it out. I cut off the handles and then cut my long rectangle in half, so I ended up with two identical smaller rectangles. I kept cutting off strips and testing how the bag would look until I was happy with the size and shape. My final rectangles were 14 inches long by 11 and a half inches wide. The reason I cut out two rectangles is because I wanted to line the inside of the pouch. You could also use a different bag for the inside for some extra undercover style. After pinning the layers together with their good sides facing out, I went and got my sewing machine to stitch them together. I'm using my hand cranked leather sewing machine, but of course you could stitch these together with a more modern conventional sewing machine or by hand. We're going to use pieces from an old tape measure to make the closure. It's really easy to break off pieces by folding the tape back on itself with your fingers and creasing it. Just make sure to wear safety glasses. You'll want to make your pieces about a quarter inch shorter than the final width of your pouch. Snapping an exact length can be a little tricky, so I would suggest starting long and then snapping off smaller pieces if necessary. Now we're going to create the sleeves that will hold the pieces of tape measure. These will become the top lip of the pouch. Fold the two top edges of your rectangle in on themselves and pin them in place to create two sleeves. Make sure the tape measure can easily slide in before sewing this seam closed. These stitch lines will be visible on the outside of the bag, so this is the time to be extra careful with your sewing. Once I had the sleeves made, I snapped my tape measure pieces to their final length. We're going to slide them into the sleeves with the concave side facing in. In other words, the side with the numbers should be facing towards the inside of the bag, and the blank side should be facing out. Think Pringle duck lips. The straps on the old fanny pack were still good, so I cut them off so I could reuse them. We're going to sew this pouch together inside out, and if you've never done this before, it can be a little counterintuitive. The straps will extend outwards on the outside of the bag, so we need to pin them in place on the inside, which is really the outside, facing inwards. Once you have your sides pinned together with the straps in place, you're ready to sew the seams. When you get to the part of the seam with the strap, make sure that your needle is going through all three layers of fabric. I missed the strap on my first pass, and I had to go back and redo this seam. However, this stitch line will be invisible on the outside of the bag, so this is the place to make mistakes. The top of this stitch line needs to be really durable, since it will be the top edge of the bag, so I made sure to do a hefty backstitch. The final step is to add some three-dimensionality to this pouch. Right now, it's more of an envelope than a bag, and to fix this, we're going to box the bottom corners. There are a few ways to do this, but the method that I'm going to use starts with cutting a small square out of each bottom corner. I made each of my squares 3 quarters of an inch to a side, and this gave me relatively subtle boxed corners, so if I were to make this pouch again, I would probably make these squares closer to 1 inch. Next, you'll want to mark where the bottom fold of your bag meets each square. Then, fold this mark in so that it meets the opposite corner of the square and pin it in place.
Repeat this process on the other corner. Then you can stitch this new edge closed. As you sew this seam, you'll go over your side seam and you can sew this flat where it meets your new edge. With all the stitching done, we're finally ready to turn this right side out to get our finished dog treat pouch. I'm super happy with this treat pouch. It's worked really well with Abby. I think it looks pretty styling and the tape measure closure works great. It stays closed, it doesn't spill treats if you turn it upside down and it's really easy to access a treat with one hand. I think if I made this again, I would make the pouch a little less wide and add more depth by increasing the size of the boxed corners. I'm excited to use these tape measure closures in other projects like a chalk bag or a pocket in a backpack where you need to access things quickly and easily. Let me know in the comments how you would use a tape measure closure. Thanks for watching and have a great day.